Hey guys, it's Vladi with Ace Rebuild, and today I wanted to show you a couple of things that I see fabricators and installers do incorrectly. It just makes the project not look as well as it could be. Obviously, we're always going for the best look, for the most professional look. And number one thing I wanted to start out with is this seam. Um, what I see a lot of contractors do is do a 45. They go about an inch in or an inch and a half inch, inch and a quarter, depending on which, you know, who's the contractor. And then they miter it. Now, the only reason this miter existed and it was started out doing about 15, 20 years ago is because of full rounded edge bull nose, because you need the miter to go on the curvature of the cut. Now, there is no bull nose. This is just a miter edge, okay, and it's a flat edge, so this lamination needs not to have this kind of a cut. This just makes it very unprofessional, and anytime you're doing so many little twists and turns, not only are you making your job more difficult, but you're creating areas where it's going to collect trash and it's always going to look this dark. And this does need a little bit more epoxy, a little bit of cleaning. Another thing is obviously before you glue any of this stuff, you need to clean it really good because your fingers just touching it before gluing it is going to create a bunch of dirt and it's just going to magnify this edge and not make it look as well. Another thing that I see is not doing their due diligence when it comes to cutting the sink. I mean, it's very unprofessional when the cut doesn't match the sink. And this is the case. I mean, this is just not the best look. I understand this is an old sink because this kitchen was just newly remodeled, but they didn't even try to match up the sink. If you look at the edges and stuff, it's just way unprofessional. You got about a quarter inch overlap. Over here, it's half inch. Here, it's another quarter inch. And over here, it's a quarter inch. The sink is edge is sticking out about a quarter inch. I mean, that's a huge spread. That is not professional. And another thing that you will see in your kitchen, when the kitchen is brand new, it just got done. Something you are always going to see. Well, I, I don't want to say always, but most of the time you'll see it when the cabinet's settling, the glues are all settling and stuff. There is going to be a crack between the backsplash and the countertop itself and we see that here obviously and this is not a big deal this is not something that was done incorrectly it's not like the contractor did something wrong it just something that happens things need to settle and then you just come in and you caulk that edge either with a grout caulking okay or you can use some kind of a trans white silicone in this case it will look awesome as well because obviously silicone 100 percent silicone is always better it stays cleaner longer and it'll match to the surfaces because you got some gray tile and then you got some white countertop it, it, it would look fantastic otherwise this kitchen looks great i mean the job was done pretty decently the edges were matched up pretty decently but the only thing is this seam cut right here not the best look um when you miter it like that Try to do it like this. It just makes it a lot easier for you as an installer and the contractor, the fabricator, and it looks a lot better. The homeowners will be a lot more happier. 
a lot less dirt gets magnetized in there because there's less twists and turns. That's just the way it is. So if you have any question, guys, please comment below, like, and subscribe. If you have a house or a project which you want me to inspect or just check it out, give you a couple of tips, I'd love to do that. Uh, just email us at acvbuild and comment, and we'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. We'll see you on the next one, guys. Thanks a lot.